What's up guys? Uh, this is another video for M&R Garage and today in this video uh, we're gonna be bumping up the timing on my first gen an eighth of an inch. Uh, I've watched a few videos on this. I'm not an expert on it but uh, I'm gonna try my best. There's a few bolts that I know are gonna be a pain in the butt to get to but we're gonna try to get this knocked out. So we don't have all the tools that we need. Uh, I need a one half inch S wrench, which I don't have, but I have this thing right here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can use this or I'm just, I'm just gonna try to figure something out. If I have to go pick up an S wrench, I will, but I really don't want to. Uh, today, I do have Logan again in our video. Uh, being the cameraman, he's a pretty good job. So it's been a few weeks since I've worked on the 12 valve. Uh, I just ran out of time to work on it and I had to go pick up a C wrench or an S wrench from uh, my grandfather's shop. Uh, but I did have a problem. The C wrench uh, still doesn't, the curvature of it is too much. If, if it was just like, if it was just like down and then over, it'd probably be good, but it goes down too far, so it hits on on this uh, power steering pump. And so what I did was I just loosened all the bolts and got that one as loose as I could. They're all half inch. There's one right there. There's one up in there. You can see it. You'll have to get a socket to that one, which is also a pain in the butt. Uh, and then there's a 10 millimeter right down there on this side of the pump down there it's a 10 millimeter uh so i got i got the the bolt on the bottom of it as tight as i possibly could or as loose as i possibly could which wasn't very much and then i just uh had to do what i could to move that pump up it was really tight actually i had to put my feet up against the wall just to get a move, which was very risky. I, I really wouldn't advise it. I'd definitely get that bolt loosened down there if I could, uh, because putting that much stress on your pump can damage something inside of there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, oh, one more thing. I hooked a strap down there. Uh, there's a hole in the frame down there that I hooked it on. Uh, I'll put a little clip in this video of it driving after I got the pump worked on, after I got the timing advanced. A little bit faster, it takes a little bit longer to pull up. Uh oh. Oh, it just popped up. Oh, yeah. I guess I have to pull over and fix that real quick. But uh, yeah, uh, truck's a little bit faster in the top end, top end, but takes a little bit longer to spool up uh, in the beginning. That's what they, they said would happen, anyways. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video.